Let's update you on one of the top priorities happening at the Texas Capitol right now. Saving you money on your property taxes. I like what you're talking uh -huh. about. Uh-huh. Everybody, we all like that, right? <laughs> Texas lawmakers are right now debating legislation, and there are honestly a couple of competing visions on how to give property owners a tax break. This guy's on the inside with it all. Political reporter Jack Fink sorting it out. Uh, the potential savings, because nothing's been decided as of yet. What do you know? Well, Doug and Nicole, both the Texas and ha the House and the Senate want to cut property taxes by about 16.5 to $17 billion. That's about half of the $33 billion budget surplus. While they agree on that, they are very far apart on how to get there. We just haven't had any relief over the years. Kathy Hill says her rising property tax bills have been challenging and frustrating. Both the Texas House and Senate have proposed very different plans to provide property owners like her some relief. In the House, lawmakers have proposed lowering the cap on property appraisals from 10% now to 5%. This applies for not only residential, but business and agricultural properties too. To make up for lost property tax revenue, the House plan would add state money to pay for public schools. So under the House plan, property owners would save on average $542 in 2024 and $733 in 2025 based on a $350,000 home. HB2 protects homeowners and businesses from the shock of rapidly rising property values, while also making it easier to plan for future investments and economic growth. Over in the Senate, lawmakers have proposed increasing the homestead exemption to $70,000. That would provide $756 in savings in 2024 and nearly $800 in 2025 on a $331,000 home. For people over 65, the Senate plan would increase the homestead exemption to $100,000. And that would give seniors a savings of $1,033 in 2024 and $1,062 in 2025 on that same $331,000 home. And what we have is tremendously good news for Texas taxpayers today. These are eye-popping, off-the-chart numbers of savings that they can realize through the Senate plan. As for Kathy Hill, she says while she's paid off her mortgage, like everyone else, she's had to pay more for food and other items. So a cut in property taxes would be welcome news. It will make a difference because there's just the, the ongoing cost of maintaining a home. And when you're on a fixed income, um, you know, it would really, really help. The Senate plan also provides more state money to pay for public schools. It would also increase the property exemption for Texas businesses and also provide a 20% cut in the business inventory tax. So, Jack, when you start talking about money, people's money, and saving them money, they all want to know when. When is this going to happen? How is this going to happen? We've got the competing bills in the House and the Senate. What's a timeline look like on those two if they're passed, and how will it be resolved in terms of which direction they go? Well, first on the timing, Nicole, the Senate could approve its property tax relief legislation as early as tomorrow. The House bill was just passed by the Ways and Means Committee yesterday, and eventually the full House will vote on it. And if the House and Senate each pass different bills, there will have to be a conference committee of lawmakers from both the House and the Senate who are going to have to come together and hash out an agreement. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick was critical of the House plan, and Speaker Dade Phelan isn't a fan of homestead exemptions and prefers lowering the appraisal cap. And I will tell you, last week during a news conference, Lieutenant Governor mentioned a dirty word around the, uh, the, uh -oh. the Capitol. Special Wait. session. Mm. <laughs> this is where so. we get kumbaya. Exactly. <laughs> Can't we all just get yeah, along? Yeah, seriously, please. All right, yeah. we'll be watching this one. Jack, we thank you see. so much.